All right, guys, so we learned about properties. We learn about binding. So what I want to do now is show you guys an example of how we can use these in Java FX. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a little demo where there's an input and you can type some text in such as your username and then I'm going to have a label underneath it and as you're typing that label that text it gets updated in real time so it's pretty cool we're not going to have any buttons whatsoever it's all going to be done through binding so this is a cool way where you can update the user interface in real time so let's get to it so let me comment this bad boy so first I'll say uh, input and labels all right, so text field, I'll just name the place where the user types in like user input, set this equal to new text field. And I'm also gonna do this user input, I'm just gonna make sure it's not too long. So set max width equal to something like 200. And that's just so it doesn't take up the entire width of the window, which will look kind of weird. And now let me go ahead and add that text underneath. Now we're actually going to have two labels because the first label is just going to be like some message like welcome to the site and the second one to the right of it is going to say like Bucky or the new Boston whatever. So it's actually going to look like one long label but we'll know behind the scenes is actually two. So first label set this equal to new label and just like have any message like welcome to the site and add a space after that. second label equals new label and we can just leave this blank by default so again we're gonna be binding this to whatever the user types in so it's gonna say welcome to the site Bucky if they typed in Bucky welcome to the site Haas if they typed in Haas whatever and actually I already got my overall layout so we need to position these side by side so they look like one sentence so I'm just gonna make an H box so I'll just name it like bottom text Set this equal to new H box. What do we want inside it? Well, just two labels. So first label and second label. So whenever the user first starts their program, it's just going to say welcome to the site since second label doesn't have any initial value. But as soon as they start typing, then it should look good. So bottom text, I just need to make this look a little bit prettier. Set alignment and we can do POS. That means piece of snot center and this is just for looks so what I'm gonna do now is this probably is gonna appear bunched together if I just run it right now so I'm gonna give a, a spacing of 10 that's what that means and now I just have to say what items do I want to add to that VBox and that is user input and then I can actually just add that entire bottom sentence and alright that looks pretty good so we have our layout right now if we run it okay that's good so what we want to happen is I'm gonna type in value like Bucky and we need to bind this label to whatever I type in and it's actually really easy one line of code so after this VBox we can just put it we can take that second label which is that second piece of the sentence and we can call text property on it now remember with properties we can bind them to something else and we're just binding it to whatever the user typed in so the username input or yeah user input whatever we called it text property so again this oh got a little phlegm in my throat alright so this is of course the text that they typed in to that input field and we're going to be getting this in binding the second label to it, the second piece of the sentence. So whenever this updates, that label automatically updates. So let me run this and check it out. So it says, welcome to the site, Bucky. Welcome to the site, the new Boston. Welcome to the site, Haas. Welcome to the site, now leave, please. Whatever we want to do. So how awesome is that? We can now have a GUI by the way, did you ever hear people call a GUI user interface? I mean, GUI stands for graphical user interface. So calling that a GUI user interface is kind of like saying graphical user interface, user interface. But uh, yeah, we can now have 
a dynamic GUI user interface. How awesome is that? That updates in real time. I'm going to call it a GUI user interface from now on. I think it sounds pretty cool. All right. So anyways, I'm going to take this code, stick it on my GitHub if you want it. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.